How is it almost already the end of the first month of 2024? It felt like this month just started, but then again, this month has been weirdly hectic for me personally. But because we're in this spot of the month, it's time for the monthly Q&A. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope it is going well and hope it continues to go well. And welcome to the monthly Q&A, the video I do once a month to give myself a little bit of a break and answer all of your questions. If you want to ask a question for the monthly Q&A series and be in next month's video, all you got to do is leave a question down in the comment section below and or keep an eye over on the community tab where on the first of every month, February 1st for February, I'll be posting a thing asking for your questions, and then you can submit whatever you want underneath the sun within legal reason, of course. So without further ado, and also if you enjoy this type of content, maybe consider donating to the channel's Ko-Fi, link down in the description box below. Buy the boy coffee, keep the boy sane. Anyway, here are all your questions for the month of January. Thoughts on 2024? 2025 will be my year for sure. But no, uh, so far this year has been a mixed bag. Thank you, Snow, but also Uncle now, which is great. But I have a lot of fun things planned for this year, both for the channel and personal wise outside of the YouTube sphere. Of course, Twenty Pods releasing their new album, Bring Me the Horizon releasing their new album. Hopefully this year it doesn't get postponed once again. But overall, I'm excited for what this year is gonna bring. Hey Justin, ever made a cover of Four Memories? Can't find it. That's because I have not posted the cover, nor have I begun to learn it. With me scaling back videos, hopefully I do have the time now to learn that, which is probably my favorite Wilbur guitar song. You should give Ren a listen. Yes, I know. People have been asking for Ren for a full year at this point. And my dad's been asking, so I might have to expedite Ren. But for now, whenever Ren pops up on the wheel of choices with the rest of the other 100 names that are on there, that's when I'll listen to Ren, where episode one will just be devoted strictly to high Ren. That has maybe been made decision-wise once again, for a year. Favorite indie song from 2023, most exciting for 2024. Urgh. Okay, so we are counting James Marriott in the indie side, right? Cause we're probably going to say James Marriott, it's hard to pick a certain song. So literally you could take any uh, song from Are We There Yet? And that is my answer or Lovejoy Portraits of a Blank Slate. That'll be that. Most excited for 2024, a lot of people said Lovejoy will be releasing an album, like their actual first full-length album. And if that's true, I'll say that is my excited indie release. Of course, Twilight Pass, Ring with the Horizon, as mentioned before. Possibly Bad Omens, maybe? I've heard those rumors on the table as well, but we will see. How you been doing lately overall? We need, all need to be asked that every once in a while. Uh, okay, I have been, of course, it's a Sunday, so I've been up since 5.20ish this morning. Uh, so it's an early bedtime. I'm actually recording this at 4.30, which is way in advance. But so right now I'm just tired, um, but overall doing good, doing good. Yeah, last week was interesting, but we're doing good now. If you could speak to a 13 year old Justin for 10 minutes, what would you tell him? Absolutely nothing because I don't want to mess up my life up right now. So I wouldn't tell little tiny Justin anything, nor would tiny Justin listen. So absolutely nothing at all is probably the best answer. But if I had to tell him one thing, you made a good decision picking up guitar. If you could delete or rewrite one 21 Pilot song from any album, which one would it be and why? So the answer is obviously Hometown, and I would delete it from history. I wouldn't recreate the song. I wouldn't rewrite the lyrics. I would reproduce the song, because that's my main gripe with it. That's why I don't like Hometown, is just strictly due to the production. I don't like it at all, so I would just reproduce hometown as far as rewriting completely put some new words to a song maybe maybe before you start your day that way uh, people will be happier with the song even though the slits on your face line is fine with me but maybe just trying to find a way around that may people like it more but i'm fine with it i think we're coming to a point where people are finally starting to become okay 
with that line in that song. Are you gonna make another album slash EP? 100%. Um, I said in the 2024 update video where I announced me scaling back to three videos. LOL, look at last week, we still did five, and I did the live stream book counting yesterday. Uh, yeah, no, I have two different EDP projects for this year. One to be released under my name, which is gonna be more of an indie rock, more electric thing, rather than should, you know, should have known, which was more acoustic guitar lele stuff. And then another project which will, might not be under my name, and it will be a more heavier project that I want to take on. So those two fields and plus some singles scattered throughout the year, much like how I put out Winter Solstice at last year towards the end. Thoughts on Mitski? Oh, my thoughts are that she's like getting added to the wheel. Could you please explain what you mean by the wheel? Absolutely. So for the Justin Listens To series, the list of artists I have yet to listen to is over 100 names. I get option paralysis from that. So at the end of every episode, we start spinning this wheel that has every single artist on it and whoever the art the wheel lands on that's who we listen to the following week for example last week we listened to secret band and the wheel spun and we got los campesinos part three amazing that we got it twice in 2024 so far but that's how we determine who we do week by week by week any name suggested gets added to the wheel anytime someone donates to the ko-fi and wants the bonus entries on the wheel that's where it gets landed and honestly if Justin listen to episodes of band you don't know about or you don't care about it's still worth checking out to see who we're gonna be doing the following week and seeing what the wheel lands on which if you didn't watch secret band congratulations Los Campesinos part three but that is what I mean by the wheel and what Mitski has been added to do you like rap music absolutely of course it's not my go-to I'm a rock and metal head but I do enjoy me rap every once in a while and when I am in the mood typically I'll listen to Tech 9 Kendrick Lamar Anderson Pack, Post Malone, Eminem. I love all the older sc old school stuff such as NWA, Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, Easy E, Snoop Dogg. I enjoy the dumb ones such as uh, Sir Mix a lot. Love Bone Thugs and Harmony, who do the proper first of the month, not the dumb one that's on TikTok. Wake up, it's the first of the month. No, that's the wrong version. Wake up, wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month. That one is the proper one, the only one that matters. I love the early 2000s stuff. I just, and I also love when metal and rap met, such as Public Enemy and Anthrax with Bring the Noise and the other metal covers of Bring the Noise that has since happened. Uh, I can just go on with those crossover. Lincoln Park is another great uh, one of those. Limp Biscuit! And so on. If you had the choice to invent the iPhone or Google, which one would you choose and why? Probably Google because that's the only thing that I use. I don't own an iPhone. I have a Galaxy. I'm part of the Galaxy clan. One day I'll get a real phone if that's what you iPhone people are saying right now. But I use Google frequently. Google's on every single device. So that's what I'm going to be going with because it's the only thing that I use in this situation. Eight string demo when? <sighs> Dave, I would love to do an eight string demo one of these days on the channel. I should get an eight string at some point this year. And if I do make that happen this year, then there will be a demo on the channel. What's the oldest movie you've seen? Okay, if we're... Like, I've probably seen some Charlie Chaplin things in compilations. However, if we're counting full length movies that I watched in its entirety, probably the early movie Black and White of Julius Caesar. I had to watch that in high school, 10th grade, when I was a sophomore for English class, because we read that play. So I'm going to say, I don't even know what year that came. Hey, what year did uh, Julius Caesar, the black and the white movie, come out? The black and white movie Julius Caesar came out in 1953. There you go. So, 1953, 
Julius Caesar. Favorite book and why? I don't read. <laughs> no, I hated reading growing up and still do to a point. I'm more of an audiobook person. However, there's only a couple books I've ever enjoyed reading and one of those books being The Outsiders. That's the only book that I've ever had the craving of I want to reread. However, now as an adult, I really enjoy the Skyrim cookbook because I love Skyrim. Well, it's the Elder Scrolls official cookbook. Have I made anything out of here yet? No, but one of these days, I will. And also, my other cookbook I got this past Christmas, Guga, because I love meat and I love cooking steak and meat. So probably this book. What unexpected instrument would you want 21 Pilots to randomly bring out during a concert? I would love to see Josh or someone just stand up and play something like a flute or a recorder in the middle of the show. Absolutely random. The Zeusophone. If you don't know what that is, it's a large Tesla coil that people use to make music. I absolutely love it. I actually got to see one of these live when I got to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra. They used a Zeusophone. It was absolutely insane. And it's something wacky that I could see 21 Pilots using. However, if I have to think of more practical instruments, uh, probably a, a, a tuba would be fun. Uh, for the tuba player, I mean, wants there to be a tuba. Bagpipes, though. That bagpipes. We're going to go with bagpipes. And that question actually brings us to the end of our monthly Q&A. Once again, if you want to ask a question for the month of February, be in next month's video, comments down in the description box. Comments down in the description box. In the comment section below, leave... I've been up since 5.30 a.m. Give me a little break. <laughs> in the comment section below, go ahead and ask your questions to be a part next month and or once again, keep an eye over in that community tab. We're on February 1st. We'll post a new set of questions. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. I'll see you all on Wednesday for Justin Listens to Los Campesinos Part 3. And I'll see you all on Friday for more of my chemical romance. I'll see you all next week for... Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I have planned. I have the next two weeks worth of videos planned already, including two weeks in March. But anyway, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. And good night. More importantly, have a good day. And I'll see you later.